Well, we've come to an end of another happy hump day. <laughs> so I thought I would, since I don't have the truck and I can't do any trucking videos, <laughs> I'd just show you some stuff I've been doing around the house. So come on, we'll walk over here by the pool. I'll show you some stuff I've been doing. I've been rewiring everything to do around the pool. Uh, the pool pump itself needed rewiring. Pool looks good, don't it? Yeah, got it looking good. Uh, so what I had to do was the, pu the pool pump itself is hardwired in. So I had to um, redo the, uh, the plug on the end. The one I had on there, I don't think was originally set up to be a uh, outdoor plug. So I bought an outdoor plug and put on it. And also, re the, the original ground plug was only like two inches, three inches off the ground. So a good heavy rain and it would almost be underwater. So the way I rewired it was, and please excuse the uh, some of the junk I got back here. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so I got the Hayward uh, pump, right? And then that's the old, that daggum thing's old as Methuselah. We're going to replace that and, and do away with the chlorine and go to salt water altogether. Um, but what I did was, this is the box I put in. Let me switch the camera around. That way you can get a better view of it. And uh, there's the back back there. Uh, the woods that go way back to the creek. I was telling you all about Lewis Creek. Um right there's my deer feeder where i've been feeding the deer i don't hunt them we just video them i got deer cameras in the yard and i will videotape them and uh i don't know if you can see it you see the little stick right there next to the post the stick if you can look and see you'll see the wire and there's another stick back over here that is electric wire i put that out because we we're having raccoons come in the yard and digging up the yard so <laughs> I put that out to try to see if I can't slow down the uh, the raccoon infestation coming in the backyard. Because if that doesn't work, next step is buying a coon trap. Because I'm not going to set up all night trying to wait for a coon to come in my yard. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around. You can see what I did today. I told my wife, I said, when God made me, he stamped me redneck rigger. Because <laughs> I can redneck rig something up, I tell you. Uh, all right, so there's the cable coming off the pump, right? It's not touching the ground. It's about two, three inches off the ground. Whereas before it was laying on the ground with a drop cord that ran over. And the other plug used to be over here. Let's see, right there. And it was only about two or three inches off the ground. So I ran the cable under the ground to right here and then up that PVC pipe and then into the box. And I installed this box so that the plug and everything would stay sealed up from the moisture and rain and anything that might get in here. I took a piece of two before, and you can't see it because I put Gorilla Tape around it. But what I did was I cut a channel in the two before to run the wire up into the uh, to the uh, the outlet that's in here. And I have a GFCI outlet, so it'll trip out before it burns up the motor. Now in the back back here, this board, I added it because uh, there's a hole right here where I put the outlet in when I ran the wire up. This is an old shovel handle that broke off. So I drove it down into the ground and used it for a stake. And if you look right there, I put a screw through it and then fasten it to this. And then this is all this is fastened. All I gotta do is take this off and I can access the back here. And I got the plug tethered to the uh, post so that it, it's not pulling on the, uh, the outlet itself. So all I did was redneck rig that up. <laughs> <laughs> so it would uh work and uh but yeah the pool looks looks pretty good we were swimming in it earlier today so i did that and you'll notice there's places in the ground like this i'm trying to grow grass in it some places over there and i put sprinklers out try to try to get the grass to grow that i've been planting Cause used to we had the most beautiful yard back here and, and the raccoons have just destroyed it so anyway i'm gonna go through the chain link fence uh gate i'll show you some stuff i'm gonna work on tomorrow in the front yard i wish we could get rid of this tree 
Uh, there's two of them, you see them growing together? The one here that's leaning back, let's see, this one here, I would be okay with leaving it. I wish I could take this one down because if you notice, you can see the power cord. It's almost touching on the power cord. And all the limbs off of that tree are right out over the pool. So I wish I could take that one down. That would help out a lot with cleaning the pool. There wouldn't be so much to clean. So I need to clean off the roof off the greenhouse too. So, but anyway. Used to right here, there was all big oak trees. Nothing but shade. There was no sun out here on the grass at all. What happened to all the oak trees? That's them laying on the ground. <laughs> we had to cut these down because uh, we needed to be able to access the pool pump. I meant not pool pump, the uh, the well water. And, uh, or the well itself. Because we thought we were going to have to pull it up. And they need to be able to go over the top of it with the boom. And the trees were in the way. Come to find out they didn't need to do that. So my job tomorrow is cut all this up through here and I'm gonna drag it out however much I can drag it one time with the four by four pickup truck. I've been told not to touch her bush. That's her camellia bush. And then you see we got some gladiolis growing wild around it. There's one right there, where'd it get right there. And then you see the one back over there. There's another one over there. But yeah, I'm gonna try to cut all that stuff, get all this out here away try to reclaim some of our yard from all the bushes and trees well from the trees so i got some more over here i got to get cut up oh the old magnolia tree almost made it uh when they cut the tree down it just split the magnolia oh but check this out one of my subscribers mrs blackbeard Serena, you're gonna love this. Check this out. Look at that magnolia flower. Isn't that beautiful? And it bloomed. You pull out a little bit. The limb is laying on the ground <laughs> connected to the tree and it still bloomed. How about that? Isn't that beautiful? Teresa's allergic. But that's not why the tree went down. It went down because when they cut the oak tree, it split it so i gotta cut all that up all these bushes through here all this has got to go won't be able to get it all done tomorrow but i want to try to at least get everything over on that area done so we can reclaim part of our yard and then i'll probably try to cut some of this back if i can cut some of that back and try to get back some of our yard so i need to get out here and pick up some of all these Sticks has been falling out of these big old pine trees. But uh, here's some more Teresa's uh, gladiolis. Look pretty good. They were really beautiful a few days ago when they first bloomed out. So that's some of the stuff I need to get done tomorrow. Uh, let me go ahead and give y'all an update on the truck too situation. Oh, and see that? There's an oak tree growing in the middle. I got to get that oak tree out. Cause we don't want, Teresa don't want it there. I'd be okay with it growing, to be honest with you. But all the azaleas around it, I gotta trim all those up too. So, another project I gotta work on. Uh, we did get all the hedges trimmed. I don't know if you noticed that. They were way up, they were all the way up to the uh, the, the bottom of the, uh, the house. Right there. I trimmed them all the way down. Same with these right here. Trim them down. So, anyway. Oh, and the other night, uh, if I ever get a chance, I'm going to try to maybe do a video and I'll put in here some of my um, uh, wild uh, footage from the uh, deer cam, from the trail cams that we have uh, of the deer and raccoons. I caught a bat flying away on the, uh, on the video as well. That was pretty cool. So, and I don't know if you can see it right there. That's a bad house, but I don't think no bats live in it. We wanted to try to uh, grow bats or attract bats to come here and live. 
because they eat mosquitoes is what I've been told. So wanted to do that. And my other project I need to try to do tomorrow is take these tuba sixes and I'm gonna cut them and make myself a ramp that I can drive my truck up onto, my big truck or little truck. And that'll give me more clearance so I can get all this up under the truck to work on it when I need to go up under there to do something with the airlines or anything like that. And if you'll notice, the end of the driveway right here, and then that concrete slab out there, there's like a little gully right there. So what I do is I drive the truck over, I drive my steer tires up here, leave my drive tires back there, and then I can crawl up under it with that gully right there. Now, it's still tight. So by me putting that, those ramps over here, I'll be able to raise it up another six to eight inches. And that'll give me plenty of clearance to get up under there that I need to do. So that's what we're gonna work on tomorrow. We'll try to get as much of this all done as we can. Uh, main things I'm gonna work on those limbs around there now that we got everything settled with the pool and everything's good to go with the pool. So that's the plan. So, oh, update on the truck. So I called over there uh, yesterday and they said, we're shooting for Thursday afternoon, have it ready. Um, I'm gonna give them a call tomorrow morning, which is Thursday morning, and they should be able to tell me yes or no. So if they say, yeah, it's ready, come on over. <laughs> Probably what'll happen is, if I don't have a load booked that I need to pick up uh, Thursday or Friday morning or something like that, I'll probably just go over there myself and pay it and then drive back, leave the truck over there. And um, cause Teresa's working, she's working from home. So I don't know, I don't think, I mean, she could take her laptop with her. She might be able to just work from the truck while we're driving over, but I, I just don't know. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess up her job. She has a really great job and I don't want her to do anything that would jeopardize that. She, she really likes her job and so, you know, we gotta work together and make it all work out, you know? So I'll figure out something. But right now, man, loads are just popping like crazy. Uh, I've seen two, maybe three loads out of Tallahassee going up to Pennsylvania that are paying really good. Um, there was a load out of um, Mobile going out to Texas, a load in Pensacola going up to uh, North Alabama. Uh, there's loads out of Eufaula you know, going up to North Carolina. So I should be able to find something tomorrow and I'm gonna do my best to try to find something, hopefully uh, maybe by noon, no later than three o'clock. And uh, so if I can find something for sure that loads Friday, then I'll let her take me on over there, me, her, me and Ducky. And uh, if not, then I'll just go over and pay it. And then when I book a load, she can take me over there and I can leave out there, so. Maybe do the grocery shopping over there in Dothan or something. And uh, cause they got Publix over there also. And uh, we'll go from there and uh, be back on the road, hopefully. Uh, Friday's video, I'm not sure about yet. We'll have to wait and see what we what we can get up on the, uh, on the screen. <laughs> so we just have to wait and see. But uh, you know, I'm sorry. These ain't been great videos the last couple of days and I'll I did get a lot of good comments though on my uh, my truck and life videos. So I appreciate all the people that watched and all the great comments about that. But uh, hopefully we'll get back to trucking videos here pretty soon. So y'all just hang in there with me. Hopefully we'll have the truck out pretty soon. Uh, let's see, I, I put it in the shop Tuesday. No, Monday, yeah, well Monday, I got over there Monday, but then I didn't actually go over there and talk to them and put it in the shop shop till Tuesday. So, and they didn't actually look at it and diagnose it till Thursday. So, uh, Monday to Monday, today's Wednesday. So we're looking at what, 10 days, something like that, close to 10 days that uh, I've been off the road. So I need to get going by Friday or Saturday or they gonna wanna take my trailer. <laughs> so I gotta get going. But it seems like it was two weeks last time when the truck was in the shop. These two weeks, man, golly, they kill you. I mean, I like having the work done over there, you know, cause it's uh, local, local for me anyway. And um, 
I just hate how long it takes. It seems like every time I stop at one of these shops somewhere like Missouri or Kansas or somewhere like that, they knock it out within 24 hours or less, like 12 hours. So I don't know how much more I'm gonna be able to do over there with them taking that long to get it done. So I may have to just start getting all my work done on the road unless they tell me on the road it's gonna be a long process or something. So I don't know. We just have to play it by ear. Hopefully we won't need no repairs for a while. The next repairs we're hoping to do on a truck is gonna be replacing the brake drums and brakes. So I'm shooting for some time between now and 4th of July to get that done. So we'll see. We just gotta get back out and start making some money so we can pay these bills. So, but anyway, uh, I've gotten some emails from some of you guys, uh, Larry and Rod and Lamar and Doug, I think it was. So about three or four emails I've gotten and I hope you guys uh, be patient with me. I'm trying to get back to y'all as much as I can. I don't have very good cell signal out here at the house. Our Wi-Fi sucks. and So it's, it takes me like three or four hours just to upload a daggum video. <laughs> so you probably won't see this till after way after dark tonight. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on it. Try to get it uploaded for midnight. Cause I've been trying to stick to, to upload Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so. But anyway, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and everything. And I'm going to try to call you guys that wanted to call and uh, and talk to you and everything. And I know a lot of you guys had questions about Landstar and some other stuff. And anytime I can help out, I always want to try to help you as much as I can. And uh, just have to be patient with me. I got a lot going on. So uh, family and the truck and everything here has to come first. But I'll, I'll definitely going to make time to try to talk to you guys. Like I said, when I drive over to Dothan, I'll have a better cell signal between here and there, and I'll be able to maybe give you guys a call or something, okay? So, thank you so much for everybody supporting the channel. We really do appreciate it. And uh, just hang in there. We'll be back trucking before you know it, all right? All right. Thank y'all so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget our motto if you're an operator. In the next video, I'm gonna try to talk about rates I've been seeing on Landstar. It's gonna, it's gonna shock you. You're gonna, you're gonna be surprised. So we'll talk at y'all again soon. Y'all take care.